<laughs> I'm having a day. One of those days, huh? Yeah, when you, you put the mic on the wrong input and realize you did a whole show and one of us wasn't on the show. <laughs> Well, maybe better. Maybe be quiet. Yeah. Who was it? Which one of us was it? You'll be on the show. It'll be very quiet. <laughs> we'll get a lot of. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, thanks for putting it in the middle of the show again. You think uh, you would have learned? Uh, you would think I would learn. Yes. So okay. you brought over an experimental series cigar. Yes. Trying to kill me. <laughs> well, that was today's going so well. <laughs> Well, you know, I wasn't, uh, that wasn't the purpose of it, but uh, it intrigued me. It's an Alec uh, Bradley, double broadleaf. I can't believe I did a whole show and had the input in the wrong channel. I can't believe you, Mr. I See Everything, never. I uh, didn't <laughs> notice. Well, at least all those curses aren't on this show, and I haven't said the F word as much. Oh, well, that's true, so we might not get censored on this one. That. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you bring us? So as I said, it's an Alec uh, Bradley double broadleaf. I did. So it has two broadleafs. It has two broadleafs that they do in the wrapper. I prefer and it's, a broadsword. Do you? Yep. Okay. But that's just me. But it's got a, a, a proprietary blend of binder and and the wrapper from uh, Heritage Connecticut broadleaf seed. I was going to go into grown the, in the Honduras. Yes, sir. Rice checks binder, which I mentioned in the previous show that I effed up. But <laughs> I'm not going to bring up the binder of rice checks this time. It's not going to be mentioned. No mention of rice checks and binding. <laughs> so don't ask about it because that was in the no longer applicable show. <laughs> the rice checks. The rice checks as a binder. Yeah, as a binder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And not so, a loose leaf binder either. No, it's a different kind of binder. It really was. So it's also got some uh, added uh, binders from Nicaragua. More and binder, huh? More binder. Not rice checks. No, not rice checks. Okay. Um, and it's got filler from Honduras. I don't have any. I don't have any comments on a filler. Beautiful yeah, brown, very no veins. Yeah. And I don't even have to smell it because the last time I smelled cedar and the scar hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. So, but you were talking about Ooh, it smells uh, like cedar. But you were talking about whether or not to take the cigar out. Or leave it in the cellophane uh, that, wrapper because of the was, porosity. Yeah, that was when you left your wrapper out on the, the take that didn't work. <laughs> so put it back so I remember. Well, that's a wrinkled ass wrapper. <laughs> Don't get personal. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no it, need to get personal. Is, I know is, I'm old. Is, is that your Trojan? <laughs> So what I what I had mentioned to yes. you is to get get that dirty thing away from me. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people hmm. discuss whether or not you should leave the wrapper in cellophane when you age it in a, your humidor. Yes. And it, 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 arguments go back and forth. I don't know that there's a right or wrong. Okay. Those cellophane wrappers are porous, so you will get the humidity going in. But what it does do is if you leave your cigar, you know, your box, and you have 10 different types of cigars, it does give you a barrier so you don't get cigar flavor seepage. Because uh, one thing I, I learned is, is if you want to eat cigars, age them all together. You know, mm. you have 10, keep them together near okay. each other. Unless, of course, you're, you're trying to, you know, change the flavor profile. Come up with a proprietary blend? Yeah, uh, <laughs> so, but I don't think it matters if you use a cellophane on or off. Okay. Unless you're putting cigars next to each other. All right. So I, I generally don't use cellophane wrappers when I use using the box, the, the cigar humidors. Now, I have like seven of them in the house, but <laughs> I just live in Florida. And I just counting, leave them in the backyard. And I'm, yeah. I haven't bought a humidor in over 25 years. Oh, wow. So... But All right. Anyway, let's uh, yeah, let's fire, fire this up. thing up. You betcha. And uh, see what we got. All right. We'll, we'll be come right back. back. At you. Bye. Bye. I reiterate, you're trying to kill me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this experimental series. It's, uh, I, uh, I don't know if I would uh, move forward with it. 
Yeah, this is. This it's is, more your flavor profile than mine. Well, yeah, I like I like some of the taste, but the uh, the burn is just hideous. Well, I mean, well, Mark, when you use one of these little frickin' torch things, uh -huh. you're welding the front of it. Here, give me your hand. It, <laughs> Ouch. You ever notice people, they use mm. a match, okay. they use a, a piece of uh, cedar wood, Light or that first. That's you use a nice butane, which is not that hot. You're mm -hmm. not burning the living crap out of the end of the cigar. Ah, so okay. for the first half inch, you're smoking garbage. Mm. Okay. Which is, if you want a golf course, absolutely use that. Otherwise, it's too hard to light. Well, plus I use that when I uh, when I'm on a cruise because the uh, yeah, great. Uh, hold on, let wind. me check. It's windy. Land ho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. So, I'll let you go first since all right you are the purchaser of this eleven dollar yeah so beauty. You know, I I'd Look, say it's sh show the camera. <laughs> uh, boats all are rotated. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not burning very well. Um, I definitely get a lot of coffee, like an espresso. I, I happen to like coffee. I know that's not your, you know, you. you yeah, it's, it's not say, part it's of your not palate. My cup of tea. It's not your cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is just a very faint. Kind of, of a spicy, peppery type of taste. Um, it is it is more medium body to full body, but I wouldn't say it's a full bodied cigar. Um, small chest. Small chest. Yeah, small chest. Okay. So it's it's okay. Or should I say I, small I paid, hips? Small hips. Yeah, small I paid hips. about eleven bucks for it. Eh. You know, I wouldn't run out and seek these specifically, so it's okay. But again. Again, yes. Yeah. All right, well, well, like I said, this just piqued my interest because it was an experimental series. I thought, yeah, we do cigar. That's reviews. how you got married a few times. <laughs> Let's try this experiment. Practice makes perfect. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how about you? I thought the burn was amazingly uneven, and mm -hmm. I have some picture. Maybe I'll put it right here. We'll see. Uh, ash was a beautiful, ugly level that's hard to achieve. Yeah. So, and, uh, but the one thing about the ash is I was able to hold almost two inches and it didn't fall on my shirt. Well, that's typical for you, isn't it? Holding two inches? Um, only if the nipple is. Oh, yeah, yes. You're, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was not discussing sexual. Well, we're doing a cigar review. What, what do you think bastard. I was discussing? So I tasted salt, coffee, more coffee. And after that, mm. some more coffee. I'm not a coffee guy, and mm -hmm. now I just get bitter, like coffee grounds. Mm -hmm. I'm not enjoying the cigar very much, and I hope you're having a nice time and seeing me miserable. Well, there's always some fun in yeah, that. No, that's At not. Least you're happy. Of course not. Of course oh, not. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> no, not you. No. <laughs> so I did read an interesting thing that Juan, okay. Juan Valdez was uh, responsible for the blend. He, <laughs> he and his burrow were, were integral in this, in this process. Oh, so you're saying it's mountain grown? Mountain picked. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, uh, so, so I don't know if I would necessarily well, recommend it. Well, let's go over it. the numbers, and then we can say let's. how you would or would not recommend it. Let's. What are our numbers? Did we give numbers? Yes, we did. What are they? I gave it a nine for appearance. I thought it looked very promising. Yeah. You gave it an eight. We both gave it a seven for construction, which <laughs> neither one of us really should have given it a seven for construction. I uh, know. Smell for eight for mm -hmm. me, six for you, because it did have a very big coffee smell. And for not for me, but I said people who like coffee mm -hmm. would like the smell, like Juan Valdez. <laughs> Burn, seven and a six. Okay. I gave it the seven. All right. Uh, yours started off better than mine and you just suck killed it yeah it's not looking and pretty. uh taste i gave it a six i'm not a coffee guy you gave it a seven so i gave it a 37 you gave it a 34 we averaged a 35 and a half all right so yeah, it's a so, little bit on the uh the middle of yeah, our I, I it's not my kind of flavor i mean if you like a really hard coffee flavor you uh -huh. may want to try this i People who have taste buds more similar to myself should avoid this at all cost. 
All right, so... Uh, Do you recommend somebody buy it? No, I wouldn't go out of my way to get that, one. That's not really um, a recommendation. That's so you just don't feel like getting off your couch. Well, I don't know. It's it, it's in that price point that, that I like, you know, uh, 10, 11 bucks. Um, yeah, I, you know, it's 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 one that's okay. I wouldn't specifically right. recommend it. No. I'm putting it down. I'm done with it. You've had enough? I can't take it anymore. The torture it's is excruciating. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank and you. Uh, next time, we'll hopefully, Mark will bring something we can smoke more of. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. <sighs> Peace out. Thank you. Okay. Later. <laughs>